Hi, this is Joe with another ProRip training video. Today we're going to be talking about the Color Boost feature built into ProRip. Now you might notice that when you import images into the RIP with partial transparency, those elements might print a little less saturated than you'd like to see. So there is a solution for that. That is the Color Boost feature. So let's jump right into it. You're going to click Q and then Set Up Color Boost and a screen will appear which allows you to select your page size. I'd suggest just going with something simple like letter A4 and then uh, click on graphic import. We'll just click open and you could leave this all at the defaults. Um, let's jump back. Let's get that back to what we want and just click next. Okay, from here you have a couple options. One represents basically no adjustment and eight represents a very high adjustment. And what we're gonna do is print several images on one sheet with an increment of two. So in this case, if we're going from one to eight with an increment of two, it'll be four different designs. Um, you can leave this alone for now, don't change it. Just click, click uh, print color boost chart and you'll see that your computer may hang up for a bit here because it's rendering all these files uh, but in a minute it will jump back and bring you back into the preview and you'll have all four images up on this screen right here and each one of those will be prepared with it, its own amount of uh, color boost so this top one here would be the one and then a three a five and I guess a seven Actually, rather than print these out, I think what we'll do is just rip these files. So let's select them all, right click and click rip only. And you'll see the computer will go through its ripping in the background. It takes a bit because it's ripping four documents at once. And when that's complete, we'll right click it again and click on view raw data. And that'll give us a preview of what this will look like printed. All right, right click view raw data all right so let's zoom in a little bit so here's your files and you can see that this top one it's nice because it labels it one three five and seven that would actually print out for you as well uh, you can see this top one has no manipulation at all the colors are kind of muted but this bottom one the seven these are a little bit darker so the blues are darker the yellows are darker and the idea there is it makes up for the transparency in the artwork this corrects just the transparent sections. You'll notice that the opaque areas where it says Uninet here on all four are exactly the same. So the color boost function does not affect at all 100% um, opaque images. So it won't affect white, it won't affect 100% images, it'll only affect the ones that have partial transparency, making it the perfect solution to offset and counterbalance uh, the effect of the partial transparency. Now once you figure out exactly which image works best for you, you can just come back into the screen that I minimized before, the Setup Color Boost Wizard, and you can just key in exactly what works for you right here. And once you do that, uh, you'll notice it gives us uh, another screen that says, uh, do you want to apply it to the queue? Do you want to apply it to the print mode or create a new print mode? I'd suggest you create a new print mode and you can call it something like, you know, modified uh, color boost or something similar. Keep in mind the process that I've just reviewed is really just to determine what level of color boost you want to implement. But if you already know exactly what level to implement, it, you just simply need to double click your queue and then click on color layer and processing options and color boost is listed right here. So you can adjust this any way you want. If you think seven is right for you, uh, just go ahead and click OK and everything in that queue in the future will always have a value of seven for the color boost. Okay, I hope this helps you out. Take care.